a lost power pop single from the fall of 1969. Let's go to Billboard's Hot 100. The date of this Hot 100 is, uh, let me go to the date of this Hot 100, November 1st, 1969. Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley, produced by Chips Moman at number one. Wedding Bell Blues by The Fifth Dimension, produced by Bones Howe at number two. And some of the other big hits that you might remember from this Hot 100, Baby It's You by Smith. Gene by Oliver, Tracy by the Cufflinks, and of course the Beatles something and come together at number two and at number 11 respectively. Is That All There Is by Peggy Lee at number 13. And let's go all the way down. I lost my place on this record. I'll find it. Bear with me. Undone by the Guess Who at number 50, 51. Eli's Coming by Three Dog Nine at number 50. That was written by Laura Nyro, or Nero, N-Y-R-O. And uh, I know this song is on here. I had it up on, on, on Billboard's Hot 100. It was by uh, Thomas and Richard Frost. It was at number, number 82, I think. Here it is. Thanks for bearing with me. Number 84. She's Got Love by Thomas and Richard Frost, Sunshine Pop, California Pop, just perfect. The talent that went into this album, that went into this record, it went eight, it went up eight from number 92 to number 84 on Billboard's Hot 100. Thomas and Richard Frost, She's Got Love. Thomas and Richard Frost are from Northern California. They played a number of bands in Northern California until they joined a band called Powder. They were a pop group, a pop, a power pop group. Powder, they went to Los Angeles to record an album at the legendary Gold Star Studios in Hollywood. This was where Phil Spector crafted his wall of sound. And they worked on this album, but the album never came out. Powder. Richard and Thomas Frost they got a little discouraged, understandably enough. They just said, the heck with this. They they went, they went moved back to Northern California. They struck out on their own, came up with some material. They signed with Imperial Records. They record some sides with Imperial Records, uh, mainly between 1968 through 1970. And uh, She's Got Love, their hit. Very small hit on Billboard's Hot 100. They performed this song on American Bandstand in the fall of 1969. Now, here's the thing about uh, Thomas and Richard Frost. They had big ambitions. This album they were working on was going to be their artistic tour de force. This will be their genius moment. And once again, we've got a collection, a stellar collection of talent rolling into this album. The album was going to be called Visualize. Skip Batten of Skip and Flip, formerly of The Birds, and the Flying Burrito Brothers, he played on this album. Mars Bonfire, guitarist of Steppenwolf, played on this album. Session drummer Hal Blaine of the Wrecking Crew, who played on hundreds of, of songs back in the 60s. You've heard, I know you've heard of Hal Blaine if you're one of these record aficionados. He played on this album. The master recording was in the can. The catalog number was assigned to this album. It was going to come out. But at the last minute, in the 11th, the crucial 11th hour, Imperial, Record, Imperial Records said, no go. We're not putting it out. And everybody was like, why? Why in the hell are you doing this? And Imperial Records explained, look, We've been bought out by Liberty Records. We are consumed by this massive reorganization that's resulted from this buyout. We just don't have the time. We don't have the energy. We just we're, we just don't have the... It's all a question of priorities. And putting out this album is a low priority. It never got put out. As far as I know, the album visualized... Thomas and Richard Frost were just, well, they were probably devastated. They stayed on with Imperial for a couple of years. 1972, they signed a deal with Uni. They, they, 
they did record an album that was put out. It was a self-titled album, Thomas and Richard Frost, sort of a singer-songwriting album, and that was about it. But boy, they left us sunshine pop. I mean, the sun is just, sun rays are just falling right through the blinds of this record, big time. She's Got Love by Thomas and Richard Frost peaked at number 83. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for only four weeks. 1969.